hello! It's my April studio catch-up in the last week of April, just before May. I'm so far behind in everything this month, and this one is also going to count as my May one because I'm going to be away very soon, but I just thought I'd really quickly catch up with you guys before I head off overseas on Saturday this week. It's arrived so quickly and I'm just going, ah! <laughs> Apologies if I sound a bit snuffly. I don't know if it's a cold or I think it's actually more just because the weather's changed getting a lot colder here and I'm just feeling a bit ugh, in the throat and nose so I really hope that's gonna go by the end of the week it's definitely cooling down pretty quickly here now this week is forecast to start getting down to about 13 degrees during the day Celsius and I think on Saturday when we leave it's going to be about 13. I was looking at the forecast for Athens and it's looking to be maybe low to mid 20s. I'm not too sure how accurate the forecast system is over there but hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer than it is here at the moment although not too hot which is great because I really hate going from one extreme climate to another and so going from the cold of winter here to the height of summer in Athens would have just been such a huge shock on the body so I'm kind of glad we're going at a time where it's cooling down here and warming up in Athens and the rest of Greece hopefully that will be less of a shock to the system I made sure I got my shots before we left as well so I've had a COVID booster and the flu shot as well I just do not want to catch these things while we're traveling and also it'll be flu season when we get back to Melbourne so I just want to be boosted before we go. Uh, the flu is no joke either I've had that before but not for a long time so I've had a flu shot every year for quite a few years now and that seems to do the trick but yeah it's always the way when you travel that like being on the plane or something like that I tend to pick up little bugs and sniffles so I'm hoping all will be well it's out of my hands so I'm not going to worry about that too much. So what has been going on in the last month or two? Really not that much to be honest. I have been working really hard filming videos that will cover me for the entirety of our trip away and thankfully I've actually managed to do that. So it's going to be situation normal while we're away. I will have a video coming out every week on Saturday. It'll be Friday I think. I've kept the same schedule but I was looking at what the time is going to be in Greece and I think it's going to be about half past 11 at night. So when my video publishes I'm going to be asleep. So don't be surprised if I don't respond to your comments for quite a long time that is part of the reason also because I'm traveling and I'm not planning on spending too much time online so if you write comments for me I will read them I promise you that I just may not get to answer everything so I'll leave you a heart but I may not actually reply because replying to comments does actually take a lot of time and the bigger the channel gets the longer that time period is so thank you very much if you do comment on my videos I really appreciate it and as I said before I will be reading all of them as we go around whenever I have Wi-Fi to do so. <laughs> I think most of the places we're going to should have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is actually pretty great in Greece at least last time when we were there it was pretty much everywhere. The only place that we will not have internet connection is when we're staying in Nick's grandmother's village at her home. I'm not sure how long we're staying there because no one else is actually there at the moment. They're all in Athens but I think we're going to be given a key and then we can just use the house for a few days it saves a little bit on accommodation that's for sure so basically we booked a car and we're going to hire a car for the entirety of our trip so we're going to pick it up at the airport and then drop it off when we head home and we're going to stay in Athens for the first few nights I think we've got four nights to start with so that Nick can see his family also hopefully we'll get to the Acropolis and do a bit of shopping around Monastiraki which is a really huge market and maybe get to St. Dagmar Square I've also found a few art shops which hopefully we'll get to. There's one in particular which I think has some items that you cannot buy in Australia so I'm not going to talk too much about it just in case I can't get them but I am going to be foregoing low buy on this if I find things that I can't get in Australia I'm definitely getting them <laughs> if I can fit them in my suitcase oh, my suitcase is groaning already and we're staying at an Airbnb because we found a whole bunch that are actually really reasonably priced because of course accommodation for an entire month gets pretty damn expensive but we've managed to find a couple of places which look really good with an Airbnb we're actually renting out a whole studio apartment which will be really great 
after we've stayed in Athens, we are planning to go to the island of Kefalonia, which is on the west coast side in the Ionian island area. Nick has a friend from university who actually owns a winery on Kefalonia, so we're going to catch up with him, maybe check out the winery, even though both Nick and I are non-drinkers, so that's going to be interesting. But it looks like it's going to be a really beautiful place, so hopefully we can get the ferry across. It looks like it's a car ferry, so we'll just put a car on, stay there for about four nights, I think, and we've booked an Airbnb there and then after that we have left the entire thing open I think we'll be heading up to the island of Lefkada which is right next to Nick's grandmother's village which is just on the mainland so we'll be staying in the village and then maybe work our way up to a few other places not entirely sure exactly where we're going although I really want to get to Corfu this time I've not been there before and it just looks really interesting especially on the outer side there's some really beautiful looking places Nick's father's village is kind of in between so we'll probably stop there maybe to the small town of Parga which is on the coast and it's absolutely stunning I've been there before it's one of my absolute favorite places in Greece so I'm definitely keen to go back there and we're also planning to go to Meteora which is more inland and it's where all those monasteries are built onto huge rock formations and it just looks fascinating Nick and I didn't quite manage to get there last time we were over in Greece so this time we're definitely going if we can we actually have allocated quite a lot of time to do this things because neither of us really want to be rushing around I hope the weather's gonna be good I really do I've packed quite a lot of stuff I need to actually go through my suitcase and get rid of some of it and just reorganize it a bit better everything's in packing cubes so that makes it a lot easier so we're flying out on Saturday night at about nine o'clock I think our flight is which is pretty good because then it's a night flight and it's naturally when I want to go to sleep so I'm hoping I'll get to sleep on the plane a bit that first flight we are going to Doha which is in Qatar and that is 14 and a half hours and I'm just thinking oh my lord I'm gonna be so bored on that plane I mean I've got stuff to do but I just don't really like flying but whatever we've done it before I can do it again I'm sure and then I think we have about four hours hanging around in Qatar airport and then we will be flying to Greece which is another four hours I think to Athens so that's a pretty short flight and then we get to Athens at about midday or just after which is not too bad because by the time we pick up our car and get to the place that we're staying it means that we can then just have some time to chill out get some dinner in the evening and then maybe get some sleep that night oh gosh the time zone difference is always really difficult although I find that going there is usually not as bad as coming back when you go back in time it's nowhere near as difficult on the body as it is coming forward in time so I think we get home at about four o'clock in the afternoon coming back but we'll be flying into the sun the whole way so I don't know how much sleep I'm going to get on the plane I have filmed enough videos that I've covered that whole jet lag period as well so I'm happy about that so I've had a few people asking what art supplies I'm taking with me to Greece you'll find out in my next video which is coming out on Saturday or Friday depending on where you are I have a whole video on that explaining everything so I'm not really going to mention it today but I am taking some art supplies and and I probably will end up buying some more if I can find some art stores over there. <laughs> Speaking of art supplies, literally as I was putting this video together, this has turned up in the mail from Golden Maple. They're the brushes that I recently reviewed and the guy that I was talking to found out that I'm traveling to Greece because I told him I was probably going to take the travel brushes with me and he put these in the mail and they've arrived before we've gone. So I think I might find a little space in my suitcase to bring these two as a little backup palette because there's a whole bunch of colors in here it's one of those little fan out paint palettes you'll see what other things I have in my next video but yes this is not going to be featured in that video because I've already uploaded that so I just thought I'd show you it really quickly in this video and if Golden Maple happened to see this, thank you so much for sending it to me. I really appreciate it. That's so thoughtful of you. That's kind of all I've got for today. I'm feeling pretty tired and burnt out because I have done a lot of work leading up to this. I managed to finish all my work a bit early so that I can actually just take this week off as well to chill out. I'm also trying to get in as many walks as I can just to keep my fitness up because we will be doing quite a lot of walking over there, I'm sure. I've been training to get up to the Acropolis because that's all 
oh it's an absolute bugger of a climb it's so many steps and it's really uneven ground so yes we've been doing some 5k walks just to get that stamina up and I think I'm in pretty fighting fit shape as much as I'm going to be and just before I go I want to let you know how much I appreciate all of you for watching my videos and your amazing comments and if you're new to my channel welcome I haven't said that for a while so I am so grateful to meet new people and have all of my regular viewers as well I'm not actually taking my large laptop with me we're only taking a travel one which does not render videos at all it's got no power whatsoever so I will not be actually making videos as we travel although I might make a few on my phone so look around in the shorts tab I may just put out a few little shorts videos as we go around I haven't actually done any for a while because I've been way too busy creating my long form content but I do hope to put up a few snippets I'll probably put up some photos in the community tab as well just to keep you updated as to where we are and you can follow along on our trip a little bit I will be filming stuff to put a video together when we get back so I will hopefully have a Greek travel video those things always take me ages to put together because there's a lot of production and voiceover that needs to be done so it will come out sometime after we get back but not immediately maybe at the end of June if I can get it organized by then otherwise comment on my videos and I will read them as I go around anyway I'll see you all again in a few days for my travel video be sure to subscribe if you want to check that out I hope you all stay safe and well in the next month or so and and yeah, we'll talk again soon. Swatch you later. Bye.